we have already created the home page of our e-commerce website next we will create the another page which is products page for that click here on file then click on new now save this file as products.html right now this file is blank so just come back to the HTML file for the home page so this is the home page HTML file just copy everything from here and come back to the products.html file and paste it here now just come back to the top and here we will change this title it will be all products and then the name of this e-commerce website which is red store after that you can see in this header we have this navigation bar so we need this navigation bar like this and after this navigation bar what we have we have one row with two columns and in the column we have added some text and image so let me remove this row we don't want this on the product page so i will delete this that's it then we have this featured categories where we have added three images so it is also not required on this page so delete this one also next we have this featured products here you can see this title featured products then we have this row and in this row we have four products after that we have this another title latest products and in this latest products we have two row and in each row we have four products so total we have eight products in the latest products so let me remove the first row and this is the second row so let me remove this one also and i will remove this title also let me remove this space and after that we have this offer so i don't want this offer section so let's delete and then we have this testimonial so it is also not required in products page so let's delete this one after that we have this brands it is also not required so let's delete this brand section and then we have this footer so footer is required it will be on all the pages so everything will be same on footer and in this header also we have this navigation bar and after that we have this featured products only one row so let's preview this web page again so this is our products page here you can see the navigation bar and this title featured products and four products only and then we have this footer at the bottom we will remove this gradient color from the background so let's come back in the html file and here you can see we have added this div with the class name header so it is opening here and closing here so let's delete this closing tag and this div open tag also that's it so now you can see we have this plain background for this navigation bar there is no background color after that we have this title and some products i have not removed this products because we need products on this page also let's come back in the html file and i will remove this comment and in this div with the small container i will remove this title and let's remove this space so there is no title only we have four products so before these products we will add one row here so i am adding the div with the class name row then we need one title so i am using h2 and the title is all products after that we will add one drop down selection option so here i am adding select tag select open and closing tag and in this select there will be some options so i am adding options tag now in this option we can write different option to sort the products so first i am writing default sorting after that i will write short by price then third one is 
sort by popularity and the next is sort by rating and the last one is sort by sale so in this row we have added title and one drop down selection option now you can see this title and this uh, drop down here so we have to align it it will be in the left side and this select option will be on the right side for that we will come back here in the html file and with this row we will add one more class name so let me add the class name row 2 i will copy this class name and let's come back to the same css file so i will add some space here before this media query and here i will add the comment so it is all products because we are writing the css code for the all products page so let's add this class name here row 2 and for this one we will add justify content a space between then margin 100 pixel auto and 50 pixel so now you can see there is some space around these title and selection option and it is aligned properly let's come back in the css file here we will write select and for this select let's add border it will be one pixel solid and this color code then we will add some padding so i am adding five pixel now you can see red color of border and there will be some space around these text in this select option next you can see when i select any option the border color become black to remove this one we will come back to the css file here we will add select focus and here i am adding outline none so you can see if i select any option the border remain red next you can see we have this four product here so we will add more products like this so let me come back to the home page home page uh, html file and here you can see we have added some products also so let me just copy this row I can copy all the products from this page and let's come to the products.html page and I will paste it here. Now you can see we have total 12 products here on this all products page and the same hover effect you can see. At the end of this product list we will add some buttons so that will be for the different pages so let's come back to the html file of products page and let's see where we are closing the row so after end of this row let me add some space here and here we will create one div with the class name page btn here we will create multiple buttons so i'm using span and value is 1 then span close let's duplicate it and change the text so it is 1 2 3 and 4 and in the last one we will add the same arrow icon after adding this let's come to the bottom and here you can see 1 2 3 and 4 and after that there is a next arrow so next we have to design this one so let me come back in the html file and we will copy this class name page btn come to the css file write this class name here and for this one we will add some space so i am adding margin 
0, auto and 80 pixel. So you can see some space from the bottom. Let's copy it again. And here we will write span. For these span, I am adding display, it will be inline block, then there will be some border, one pixel solid and this color code and margin from the left side. Width will be 40 pixel and the same height which is 40 pixel. Text align will be center and line height it will be 40 pixel. Cursor pointer. So after adding this one, now you can see these buttons looks good. Next we will add hover effect on these buttons. For that let's come back and just copy this one and here we will write hover. Let's add background, I will add the same color code here, then color, it will be white. So now you can see if I take cursor over any button, the background become colorful and the text color will become white. So we have added all the contents on this all products page, we have this multiple products here. Total 12 products we have this sorting option then pagination button. Let me open this web page in a smaller screen so that you can see this page is completely responsive. If I click on this menu icon this drop down menu works perfect and this drop down option is also working fine and all the contents are aligned properly in a smaller screen. You can see this hover effect is also working for the smaller screen. So finally we have completed our all products page of this e-commerce website. Next we will create the another page.